Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Acidy here again with you for another video and today I have another updated operator video for our operator school series this time going over twitch in patch 4.2 twitch had seen an upgrade in both her gadget and her weapons the same as doc so her score has been changed a little bit and I want to go over that in today's video for those of you who don't know how the Operator School series works, basically I go over each and every Operator in Rainbow Six Siege and grade them on a scale of 1 to 10 in three different categories being weapons, gadget, and then versatility. I then give them a final overall grade and tell you why I think you should use them. So as I said earlier, Twitch did see an update and a lot of you guys wanted to see an updated version of her. And I will say before I was a little bit generous when giving her her scores. The series was a bit newer when I went over Twitch, so I was a bit more generous. Taking a look at the old scores for Twitch, I had given her a 10 out of 10 for weapons, a 7 out of 10 for gadget, another 10 out of 10 for versatility, which led to her overall grade being a 9 out of 10. Now again, I believe I was being way too generous when giving her her score so I think that the old Twitch would be somewhere in the 7.5 out of 10 range as for her overall score. I do think with the updates Twitch is a significantly better operator and she is very useful in the right hands. So after patch 4.2 what has changed for those of you who don't know was an upgrade to Twitch's gadget and her weapons as I said before. But more specifically what changed when it comes to her gadget which is her shock drone. Now you have the availability to use two. And not only that but you can also use the shock drone now in the prep phase. Twitch no longer has a standard drone she just has two of her shock drones. The speed of her drone was increased by 30% to make it on par with the normal drones, however it still cannot jump. The range of her taser was also increased from 5 meters to 7 meters making it a lot easier when taking out cameras. There are certain cameras in certain maps that you won't be able to reach, such as some of the outside cameras on Clubhouse as well as Chalet. The camera just inside the main entrance is in a very high up position where your drone won't be able to reach it. This alone has made Twitch a very good operator just because you can get rid of pretty much all of the defensive gadgets before the prep phase even starts, as well as take out cameras in high traffic areas if you take them out in the prep phase and then the enemies won't know where you're coming from if you go through that camera spot later in the round. The other cool feature about the shock drones is you can use two of them at once and switch between the two. If you are any other operator and you are using just the standard drone, you cannot actually switch between the two, you can only use one at a time. So if you do have a drone in a very good hiding spot and you accidentally hit that drone button and throw a fresh one you will not be able to switch back to the first one. I think it's a nice little feature for Twitch and it kind of puts the enemies on their toes. If they only destroy one of the shock drones they have to be ready for that second one to come in. I just like the idea of taking out some of those vital defensive gadgets before you even get into the building. If you follow someone like Jaeger or Capcan you can take out the gadget way ahead of time and not have to worry about it later on in the round. But with all that said the drones are still very easy to hit since they cannot jump so it doesn't take all that much for an enemy to shoot it out. Another upgrade that Twitch had seen goes to her DMR the 417. That weapon seen an increase in damage. Previously the base damage for the 417 was 65. That was upped to 70 and that goes all the way out until 28 meters and from there it starts to drop off. Now last but not least the final upgrade that Twitch got was her option to use claymores. Claymores were added into the game to help prevent against roaming because roamers are very prevalent in Siege so it's supposed to be a tactic to counter them. They're not overpowered by any means you just have to be very smart about where you're going to place them but it adds to her versatility because now she can use either the claymores or the breach charges. So after all of these updates when we take a look at the new scores that I have given for Twitch I have kept the 10 out of 10 for weapons. I think before they weren't as good but now they're pretty spot on. Both the DMR and her F2 are absolutely amazing weapons. The F2 being one of the best in the entire game. Her gadget, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think that having the second drone really helps and to be able to use the shock drone in the prep phase can help you save a lot of time and headache later on in the round. And then her versatility is going to stay at a 10 out of 10 as well. She has 2 speed and 2 armor which is a perfect mix. Her weapons are very good and allow for a lot of variety between what distance you want to engage your enemy as well as the attachments you can put on the weapons. 
And as mentioned before, you can have the option between using the breaching charges or the claymores. She just allows for a lot of different mix and matching, which I think gives her a good versatility score. So Twitch's new overall score comes out to a 9.6 out of 10. That's just how the numbers played out. I don't think she's quite a perfect operator, but she's still a very good option nonetheless. She does have a bit of a learning curve. You have to be very smart when using her shock drone and not putting it too close to the enemies where they can shoot it out very quickly. But with all of that being said, that will wrap up this update video for Twitch. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. Also, we are very close to 50,000 subscribers and I want to give you guys a huge, huge thank you for that. We're only about 700 away, so please share my channel with anybody that you think would be interested so we can try to get it by this week. I want to be able to do a special video for Friday as well as a 12-hour stream sometime either Friday or Saturday for you guys. I think it will be a lot of fun overall and I have so much more planned for this channel moving forward. Feel free to comment anything down below. I would appreciate any feedback. Do you guys like the new Twitch? Maybe tell me the rating that you would give her. Also, if you are new, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. As usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.